Hey everybody, all right, uh, mailbag today, as usual, despite the fact that it's uh, kind of a holiday for a lot of people, uh, in about five minutes, four minutes, uh, but we'll see you then. Wow, that scooter's mail brush picture today looks amazing. They go all out. 9.59, I don't want to listen to that sound all through mailbag. Hang on, let me take care of that. We'll clean that up after mailbag. All right. Hey, everybody. Hi. Welcome to uh, Mailbag. It's a uh, new year today. Uh, it is 2022, I guess. It's weird because, I don't know, I'm sure everybody feels this way right now, that uh, uh, things that are uh, definitely two years ago don't really feel like it's been two years ago. Uh, that happens a lot, though, so that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Uh, all right, this is in a way, uh, this is sort of Christmas mailbag part six, or uh, what I, I'll think of it as Christmas leftovers. Uh, we're still working through Christmas leftovers uh, in every sense, so that's what this is. It looks like it's mostly stuff that was for Christmas, but arrived at the post office just a little bit late. Uh, so we're going to have some fun going through all that. There's not a ton of it. It's about normal for a normal size mailbag. Oh, uh, but there are quite a few letters, so we should probably get moving. I just want to check and make sure everything looks good. And, uh, yeah, thanks, uh, uh, Pat and Dunky played the mailbag jingle on the chat, on the Discord chat, but I'm still not set up to play it here. Uh, I haven't gotten uh, much time in the last week to uh, work on the new Kitten Academy system, which is coming along great, by the way, uh, which it's doing most of the things that we need on a day to day basis and only very rarely letting us down now. Uh, so that's good. But there's so many more things that it needs to be able to do, uh, which uh, I'm still working on. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, as for cat based news, um, let's see. I think it's I, I may have my times 
confused because, you know, uh, it's all crazy uh, mess of time and dates right now. But I think it's been in the last week that we find out that uh, Buttons and Bumble are definitely not pregnant. Uh, we had them in for an ultrasound at Dawes, and the Dawes vet said, no way, either of these cats is pregnant unless they just got pregnant. Uh, well, uh, despite uh, Ari being friendly with so many cats here, it seems like that is not the case either. So um, it, uh, our vet, Dr. K, is extremely busy through the holidays and uh, booked us the earliest possible spay for B&B on uh, that's b and b as in buttons and bumble uh the earliest possible stay was on january 25th so our contacts at dawes uh, that's the danbury animal welfare society which is the animal shelter that we work with um decided to include buttons and bumble in their normal spay schedule and bump them all the way up to uh january 4th which i think is monday right monday or tuesday um so they'll be going into their space right away and then uh it will be uh, I actually i don't even know they i don't know anything about the dawes spay procedure yet so this is going to be a really interesting uh way for us both to learn how they do it i was about to say that it's going to be 14 days after that they can go 10 to 14 days after that they can go home because we'll have to get the sutures out uh i don't know if they use sutures that have to be removed or if they use you know like glue on the outside and dissolvable sutures on the inside um i I don't, we'll find out. We'll learn together. Uh, so that should be fun. Um, I also have heard that there's been some interest already in Buttons because she's been around for a while, so people have gotten to know her. I haven't heard yet whether there's been any interest uh, at Dawes about Bumble, but I also haven't done a photo shoot with either of them yet or opened the applications. So that's a lot for me to get caught up on. And uh, sorry to say, I am still sort of behind the eight ball on this because. Um, DJ and I have been moving to a new house uh, by rearranging everything upstairs uh, to sort of sort of make uh, DJ's life a little better. Uh, so that was yesterday. I moved furniture all day long, and I am I'm feeling it a little bit today. That could be part of why my brain's not fully engaged. Um, but uh, there's still more of that project to work on. There's all the regular projects to work on. There's the uh, the you know, Kitten Academy control project there to work on. And then obviously there's bringing in uh, new kittens and mom cats that are actually pregnant to work on. Uh, so to that point, I told Dawes, our contacts, Dawes, again, the shelter we work with, they also are the ones that find us all the mom cats and handle all the applications and uh, adoption, uh, you know, uh, who, who gets to adopt basically. So um, when I was talking to them about Buttons and Bumble, they said, uh, you know, what do you want to do? And I said, well, if you happen to find a if a pregnant mom cat happens along uh, and you think it would be a good fit for us great let me know we'll bring it in right away it could be tomorrow uh, otherwise um you know uh, let's see what happens and we'll circle back around once we know what's up with buttons and bumble and uh, if we get desperate we can always bring in some of the cats and or kittens that are around dawes that need to have a little more exposure um, or uh, I was joking on the chat, we could just make some cats cut, like out of cardboard cutouts and do like Paper Doll Academy for a while. Who knows? We'll find a way. I'm not worried about this. You know, we're much worse problems to have than uh, no kittens that need fostering or uh, no, you know, kittens that suit us that need fostering, I guess. Although, like I said, uh, if, if, uh, if there aren't any that are our specialty, we'll take anything. Uh, um, and, you know, that's how we can help out. So, all right. Enough about that. Let's move into some mailbag portion of mailbag. Oh, uh, updates on the health of the uh, the other kittens. So yes, um, uh, Mural is going for her spay on the fifth. On two, I think that's Tuesday, the fifth this week. So Mural will get her spay this week at Doctor K, like usual, because she's been scheduled for a while. Uh, Caper seems like he is in great health, um, and we're just waiting to do a recheck at Doctor Katz on the tenth which I expect he will pass with flying colors. And then there's Splotch, who went through a period uh, with some really bad poops everywhere, and it seems like we're finally, that's finally resolved. Uh, so all that is fine. That makes me feel much better, but we're still trying to figure out the snorting. And so Dr. K uh, consulted with a couple of other doctors, and they came up with a treatment that they want to try. 
that I think we're going to start on uh, Monday or whenever we see her uh, next. Maybe that's Tuesday. Uh, so, uh, which is basically uh, some special nose drops and uh, some different antibiotics. Uh, it really, in my head, this feels like the same path that we followed with Yuki. If you remember eucalyptus, uh, she had a snorting problem too. And this all feels like these are all things that we tried with her. Uh, but we, I tried to jump to the end of that and say, maybe she's got what Yuki had. And the doc uh, repeatedly has been like, no, that's not it. So, all right. Uh, anyway. Here we go. Now let's get into some mail. There we go. I hear lots of zooming. I hear like thunder upstairs. Right now, the, the, the master bedroom, what used to be the master bedroom, is directly above us and it is completely empty except for like a litter box. It's just a big empty room. And they are, I can hear when they are running up and chasing each other in there. It's a lot of fun for them, of course. Uh, all right. Oh, wow. Well, all right. I think this was sent to me as a challenge. It's a beautiful photo of a windmill and a sailboat and some little birds. And it says, uh, Predage Kerstagen in in Glukig Nujar. Oh, and there's there's nothing. There was, that was it. That was, oh, wait. No, there it is. Okay, it does open. Hey, look at that. No, yes. Oh, I see. Okay, dear DJ, Mr. A, faculty, students, mom, cats, and all who you all the best for 2022 with lots of love spoogles no poop accidents or lobsters but lots of stroop wobbles coffee chocolate and cookies and then we have no lobster yes donuts donkey love nort aka cookie cat lover and is it lukey lukey i think oh cookie oh and cookie that's obviously cookie that's the same c that you make okay so, uh, Cookie Cat Lover, thank you so much uh, for, uh, I'm sorry about the rough reading. It's going to take me a while to warm up into this mailbag. Like I said, uh, lots of movement yesterday, and I, I feel great about everything that we've done. Like, I am, I'm just feeling fantastic today. Um, it's, a, it's really a good day. It's nice to wake up and have, it's, you, gotta, if you switch things up once in a while, you'd be amazed the difference it can make. Uh, even if it's just as much as like, just turn your bed around the opposite way in your room. DJ and I did that uh, uh, several months ago and it made a huge difference. Uh, so moving to a different room, like it's, everything's just, you know, it feels fresh, uh, which is nice. Except for me, I'm, my brain is like not feeling so fresh. <laughs> so I just gotta, just gotta get it started, that's all. We'll get there eventually, probably right about the time we're done with mailbag. Uh, but I do want to keep it moving. I don't want to end up with a list of, of mailbags again. So let's let's get through this. All right. This one says, Merry Christmas. Uh, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge and a pear tree. Now that's what Tom called a Christmas dinner. Yes, that makes too much sense. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, Nanik Yawin, uh, that's Merry Christmas in Welsh. I'm surely mispronouncing because that's one rule of Welsh is that... Uh, Nobody else can speak it. I discovered Kitten Academy when I was three months pregnant and having a difficult time. My daughter is now nine months old, and we, alongside my husband, thoroughly enjoy watching the shenanigans of the mum cats, kittens, and faculty, both cat and human. My daughter will relentlessly squeak, squeal, and chatterbox the cats and kittens when we have the live stream on and has, on more than one occasion, tried to share her opinions with you. Uh... During close-ups, she will sometimes growl in frustration when you don't acknowledge her earnest pleas for attention, much to my amusement, as she doesn't yet grasp that you can't hear her. Better for you at this point, I think. Uh, <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if her first word is cat. That is so cute. Uh, I thought these guys behind me were going to do a thing that I could show you, but it doesn't now look like it's going to happen. So maybe Custard likes to sit on top of that. Let's try this. Uh, the, she, your daughter sounds adorable, by the way. Uh, that is so cute. We're so thoughtful for how much of a bright spark you've been during what has been an enormously challenging couple of years for so many, and we can't tell you how grateful we are for all you continue to do for those in your care. You're an awesome team and just so much fun to hang out with. Thank you for letting us into your home, so to speak, and into your lives through Kitten Academy. It's a privilege. There's a lot of blank space here, so please find below a masterpiece carefully crafted by my daughter entitled, Oh Good Grief, I Gave Her Marker Pens. 
Uh, with much love and every blessing this festive season, Mama Elk, Papa Elk, and Little Squid. Yes, please find included a small gift. Merry Christmas. Oh, that's really sweet. I want everybody to see the artwork, which is over the words, Have a Merry Christmas. And, of course, this ornament is beautiful. Just the thing to put on top of a little tiny cat tree. Uh, Christmas tree, I mean. Uh, custard is just the thing to put on top of a little cat tree. He's right over there. All right, this is not working. I can't do two things at once. And besides, I thought that uh, this little guy was going to start playing with custard, but he didn't quite make it to the top like I thought he would. So uh, there we go. Keep moving. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is two little kittens talking to each other. One says, last Christmas, I swallowed a ball of yarn. The other one says, oh, yeah, what happened? And inside... Uh, the first one says, I had mittens. Merry Christmas. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas to Mr. A, DJs, kittens, mom, cats, and faculty from TFP Tech, Kitty Girl, and Bella Kitty. Thank you guys so much. It's wonderful to hear from you. Thank you for everything you've done, uh, including this wonderful donation. Uh, but everything that you've done for Kitten Academy since the very start, uh, you guys have been wonderful supporters and uh, coordinators for so many of the things that, that uh, have happened at the past KA cons. Thank you so, so very much for that and for the wonderful Christmas card too. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, we can skip that. That is uh, from the Danbury Animal Welfare Society, but it is addressed to someone who's made a contribution in our name there. So uh, this says, ho, ho, ho to the Monroe PO. That's cute on the outside. And inside it has a lovely oil painting of a uh, crowded city. And it says, uh, enclosed, please find vintage pop-outs for kittens if you have any left. Oh, well, we do have some left. Are they pop? Do they pop up? Are they? I hope they're not actually vintage. They do just look vintage, I hope. Uh, I don't know how to get them to pop up correctly, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. It's just a little stuck together, I think. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. That's also stuck together. There we go. So we have a flower basket and a little house. Oh, wow. You know, these are for kittens, but I hope they live long enough for DJ to see them because she would think these were super cute. It's a giant flower basket and a tiny house. Um, all right. Uh, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ Academy and Academy Fellowship, Greetings from Massachusetts, long-standing YouTube watcher since Charlie. I love the close-ups. have left other venues because of lack of knowing what's going on. Checking in multiple times a day, I miss Etch. After so many orange cabbies, he still managed to stand out and seemed underrated. Soon to be the stray cat strut. Uh, that's so cute. Well, um... Thank you very much for writing. I think uh, Stray Cat Strut is, uh, is the name that you are using. Thank you so much for writing. Thanks for the cute little pop-ups. And um, uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say, oh, oh, uh, information. Yes, I know I really want everybody to be able to know what's going on all the time. And I know uh, from I know from the Discord chat, um, you know, when I don't do a close-up, everybody's like, oh, did we get a close-up? Where's the close-up? What's going on? I don't know what's going on anymore. And I really feel bad about it. And I want to keep everybody informed as much as possible. On that note, I know we didn't do any close-ups this week because we've been super busy with everything. Uh, I was hoping that the mailbags would make up for that. And uh, also the fact that I've been trying to do some of those micro close-ups. I'm trying to get caught up. And then we've also got the news scroll that runs every 15 minutes on the screen when it's working, which is most of the time now. Uh, so the news scroll goes every 15 minutes and hopefully keeps everybody up to date with what's going on too. So I'm doing my best to keep everybody informed. And I also know that even... Information or not, the close-ups are important for everybody because they just want to get up close to the kittens once in a while. So uh, um, I know that that's something that we need to also get focused on. I'm just trying to feel like I'm caught up, you know? We'll get there. So, all right. USA Mainland uh, is addressed to. All right. Let's see what we got here. I think that's the whole package. Oh, oh! Okay, so first off, we have uh, to Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all the cats and kittens at KA. I'm sending Christmas and holiday wishes across the pond from Bristol, England. And want to say a big thank you for all the love and compassion you give all your cats and kittens. 
I have been watching KA since April this year and have enjoyed so much all the different trials, tribulations, and absolute joy each class brings. I'm including, but I am also enclosing your very own round to it to help you accomplish all those jobs marked as in due time. Here's wishing you all a Merry Christmas and a peaceful, healthy, and typical new year. All our love and best wishes from Lovebird and Tigger. And here's our little Tigger, who looks like he's kind of a lovebird himself. Uh, here's our round to it. Very cute. And uh, it seems like there's another note here that also says, okay, to read on screen. So let's do that. Here is a, a disturbed looking kitty that says, Christmas, that's all I'm saying. Uh, it says, who does this remind you of? It's got to be Loom. It really does. Not only does it look like it's the face because the face expression Loom made so many silly silly crazy wonderful face expressions that it looks so much like her uh to mr a dr dj and all the cats and kittens at kitten academy wishing you all the most wonderful christmas love lovebird and tigger thank you both very much all right hi Miro. why don't you come over here and say that This one has a cute little sleepy kitty wearing a Christmas sweater that says, warning, this Christmas surprise isn't for the faint-hearted. All right, now we have a, a Tickle Me. I think we got this one the other day, and it, it didn't work, so here's our chance to try it. This one says, Merry Christmas, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Thank you for all you do for mom, cats, and kittens. Uh, only the cute-hearted with all our thanks, Millet and Sydney, Aw, Cleo and Kathy and Bill. All right, now let's see what do we got. Well, that got some attention, but they just they just looked and now they're back to playing with whatever they were playing with over there. Which is one of those fur mice with feathers. Let's try it one more time. If I can. Oh, maybe this has to be open more. There we go. So it makes a meow and then it purrs, and it seems like it gets her attention. Oh, that time it just purred. Oh, with the yeah, at the end, we're going to mix it up a bit. All right, cool. Well, that's cool. Amiral is such a mom. She's just a mom to the core. And she's like, I got to, I got to, uh, there's a kitten that wants something. Thank you for the round to it. Thank you for the card and all the wonderful stuff. Uh, oh, this one is sealed with an actual seal, and the seal has a cat on it. And the cat's name is Lola. How cool is that? I don't know if you'll be able to see it because it's red on red, but I will try showing it to you. Right there. This has some cute little block uh, print kittens. It says, we wish you a meowy Christmas. Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, mom, cats, and kittens. To yours, we wish you a memory-filled holiday season and all the best in the new year. Hugs and spoogles from uh, Linda G, Lola's mom and Miss Lola. Thank you very, very much. And Merry Christmas to you too. It doesn't matter if it's a little late. Oh, wow, this card is uh, its a very serious card in a very serious envelope. Wow. Uh, and it says on the outside, somebody's written their nickname on the outside, but it uh, looks like it got faded in the, uh, the shipping. So hopefully we've got more on the inside here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is a Christmas ornament card. Oh, it's a real Christmas ornament card. And it's got sequins and little uh, gemstones and stuff on it. That is an awesome Christmas ornament. Very sparkly, huh? What do you think of that? Very nice. Uh, inside it says, I thought DJ might like this for your tree. She absolutely will. A special wish for a very Merry Christmas uh, from, oh, Xenathon and Raylene. Of course it is. Xenathon, Raylene, Wi-Fi, Pixel, Lisa, and Mr. Bond. There we go. Xenathon, Raylene, of course, the ones every uh, class, they reach out to us and say, all right, you got some new kittens in. What do you need? We'll send it. And uh, I just, I love that. Thank you guys so much for that. All right, and that is a beautiful, beautiful card. Okay, this one uh, has, looks like it's sort of fallen open in shipping. It did not survive the process. Ooh, the opposite of the strong envelope. This one's just coming apart at the seams. Oh, it's full of glitter. It says, perfect Christmas wishes with a little kitty sitting in just a whole field of glitter. Look at all that. To Mr. A, Dr. DJ Faculty, and Kitten Academy's Cats and Kittens have a meowy Christmas with lots of furs and spoogles. 
I haven't written for a while. I was expecting to move in 2018. It didn't happen until October this year to a wheelchair accessible bungalow. Kid Academy is a morale booster. By the way, I love the word bungalow. Uh, knowing we were moving, we decided to wait to adopt our own cat or kitten and look forward to enjoying all your antics. It has been a long wait. While waiting, we were adopted by a beautiful black and white cat who moved in in June 2019. It was her choice. I don't know whether she had a better offer or the mice in the walls. Yes, really, we had mice in the walls and ceiling and a knack for finding where we stored bread uh, that got her down. But she walked out on us in June 2020. My son named her Headbutt as that was the way she greeted him when she first walked into our home. Uh, Later on, we found out from neighbors that her name was Melissa. I see. So she was just a neighborhood cat that was visiting everybody. That's super cute. Uh, she liked sleeping on windowsills in our stack packed boxes as well as my bed. Uh, I've sent the whiskers she left for DJ's collection. Oh, thank you so much for the whiskers. I, hopefully, I'll be able to become a Patreon in the new year. I put that on hold as well, knowing I had to concentrate on packing for the move. Watching always, Pat L., Thank you so much, Pat L. I really appreciate the fact that you are watching always. I guess I just probably showed everybody your address. I hope not. Sorry. Okay. Uh, thank you for sticking with us from since 2018. My goodness, that is the long haul. Um, all right. This says, okay for stream. And, oh, this is so cute. It is a drawing of little kitties. Uh, all playing on a very cute cat tree that is decorated as though it were a Christmas tree. And then they are labeled as and appear to be the faculty. We have Ari, Maggie, Logan, Barry, Eddie, and Custard all represented. Uh, and it says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, sending wishes for a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It is such a pleasure watching you and DJ work your magic on the scared, unsure mom cats and turning them into confidence-loving cats. Uh, confident, loving cats. I see. They probably also love confidence. I mean, you got to show some of that. Uh, each kitten that graduates from the academy has learned skills that make them the perfect cat for a uh, wacky adopter. Lucky adopter. Oh, lucky. Yes, lucky. Got it. Hope you can take time for yourselves to enjoy the holidays. Looking forward to another year of Mom, Cats, and Kittens Enclosed is a small donation to the Academy from Tina C. And I did see uh, your donation. Thank you so very, very much for that. I'll put it right in here so it does not get misplaced. Tina C., thank you uh, very, very much. All right, that was the last of the cards. I think I have a sneeze I might want to try to get out before we move on to the boxes. Hang on. Hang on. I'm thinking about it. Contemplating. All right, I guess not. I guess not. <laughs> All right. Next up, this uh, I think this is one that I was asked to open on our first Christmas mailbag. Didn't turn up until uh, just this week. Do not bend. Uh, let's find out what it is and whether it is. And oh, hi! I I think I hit the camera button. Maybe how long has that been going on for? A while. Did I just not put it away correctly? Sorry about that. We're real pros at this show. Wow, well, whatever this is, it's uh, it's art. Clearly, it's been packed up like art. It says, do not bend. There we go. It looks like there's a card in here, too. To Mr. A and DJ, read this first. Okay, and it's got a cute little tuxie kitty on the back. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, okay to read on stream. I wish you a wonderful Christmas and an awesome 2022. It is now one year since I got to join the lovely Kitten Academy community on Discord, and it's also the end of 2021. So I thought it's time to celebrate and also to say thank you. Thank you for everything you do for all the cats and kittens. They really hit the jackpot when they get accepted into the academy. No cat or kitten could dream of a more perfect place. You always go up and beyond to give each cat exactly what they need, no matter how much it costs or how much time, energy, and lack of sleep you have to invest. So thank you so very much. 
Did you know you cared for exactly 42 foster cats during the past year? The question obviously was how many cats? And the answer is perfect. It's such a large number of cats. It's easy to underestimate the number when you always only see one or two classes at the same time. So I made something that includes all the Academy students of 2021 until early December. I hope you enjoy this huge, floofy cat, Miss Meowton. From, uh, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but obviously I know you wait, wait to my, what, wait to my, is what I'm going to go with. P.S. A cheat sheet will be available on Discord with a winky face. All right, well, now I'm really looking forward to this because I know your art. Uh, this is going to be spectacular, I'm sure. I can't believe it's been a secret this long. Let's find out. Open this very, very carefully. Okay. Oh, and then uh, admonish. There's a, another on the inside that says open carefully. All right. So we shall. Um, can I even maybe just take the tape off? Let's see how carefully I can think about opening this. Um, that seems too carefully, actually. I don't think that's working, but maybe the letter opener will help. We have an easy way to get it in there. The anticipation is killing me. I hope you guys are all dying of anticipation right now because I am. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There we go. All right, here we go. How cool is that? Look at all those kitties. They're so cute too. Well, there we go. I don't know how many of these I could possibly name. Uh, but I'm guessing that's Tommy right at the top at this star. And I can see all these spirals at the bottom here look like a um, caper to me right off the bat. Uh, some of these were probably going to be a little easier than others. So for instance, a uh, little tuxy, uh, torty with a orange spot right on that, her head. And they're passing around some balls of yarn. Oh, we got a real floofer here, this little orange and white floofer. That's cute. There's a little orange and white floofer here, too, looking mischievous. That is quite a pile of cutie cats. Wow. Uh, the cheat sheet is probably going to help a lot, too. This is fantastic. I'm going to put this directly into our art cabinet. I don't want anybody to step on it or do anything to it. So I'm going to put it right back into all the safety stuff that you had it in, along with this wave. Wave the my. Thank you so much. This is awesome. Uh, 42, pretty good number there, too. I like that. Even though I guess in the final analysis, it might turn out to be something different. You know, it's a little it's a little bit like uh, towards the towards the edge of the year. Do you count them as this year or that year? You know, they arrived during this year. Uh, you know, whatever. So uh, I'm so glad this made it to us and it made it to us intact. I can't thank you enough for that. That's beautiful. That's definitely going uh, in our like to be frame pile, uh, which is unfortunately a bit of a pile lately. But uh, we will get around to it. Yep, yep. All right, that was spectacular. Thank you so very, very much. All right, this is from Lisa G. I know because of the art uh, um, from uh, from what's his name, the Hawaiian. Uh, so clearly from Lisa G. And we were left a pull tab to open. Uh, does it work? In fact, it does. How about that? All right. Something? No? Feels heavy. All right. <laughs> Inside, I see what we've got here. This is a little bit more than usual. We have, first off, uh, today's cat calendar, uh, December 18th. Pregnant or pregnant, sweet buttons and bumble, deserve an endowment present. Lisa G, Beans and Cheeto. Nice choice of uh, daily calendar art to send that with. And as usual, you have a bumble and a buttons laser pointer. Uh, and uh, the closest thing to kitten photos that you get, in fact, I'm very, uh, I'm impressed with your enterprising ability to come up with photos of these two at all, considering that I haven't done an official photo shoot for either one yet, which is amazing to me, considering they're beautiful cats. Oh my goodness. Lisa G, thank you so much for their endowments. I will add those to a collection, which surely will be growing here over the next uh, hour. Yeah, I think we still got some time to go, everybody. Okay.
Are you helping out, buddy? Are you gonna help? This seems helpful to me. Whoa, pet apparel, but I don't recognize what it is. Uh, Dragon Lady. Oh, wow. It says it's a cowboy hat and a French beret. All right, let's see, is that true? They are, they're so cute. These are gonna go into our costume collection. Uh, I think, unless unless you had something else for them, but that's exactly what they are. So, hi, buddy. What did you sniff on there that made you so sneezy? Look at that. It's a little tiny uh, cowboy hat. It says cowboy hat. It's got a little star in the front like a sheriff, though. And uh, Unless that's the French beret, in which case they are way off. And then this one must be the beret. Indeed, it is. Oh, oh it's got a little thing on the top, though. Right, not that thing. The other thing. There we go. Look at that. We've got a little beret and a little cowboy hat. Those are going to be adorable. I just need to set those aside so they end up with the rest of our costumes, uh, which I was just moving around during part of this big move, thinking, oh, man, I still need to do a Halloween shoot. It's never too late, right, if I do it. It's never too late. Why not do it anytime? It doesn't have to be. You know what? You can have Christmas in July. You can have Halloween in January. Every Anything goes. Anything goes. I learned that from uh, Cole Porter. Cole Porter? What? Is that right? Why Why doesn't that sound right? Oh my gosh, my brain. The brain is not working. Okay, this one, Kawhi, a little, oh, that was Dragon Lady, right? Dragon Lady, thank you so much. Those are super cute, and I really need to get on that uh, photo shoot things. Lots of them. Lots and lots of photo shoots. Okay, what is this all about? This is from uh, Kawhi Little Panda. And it is Sassy Cat Duck, freeze-dried duck. Wow, picky eater approved. I only know one picky eater, so let's see what the note says. Aw, these are for the beautiful mom cats and the faculty from Kawaii Little Panda. All right, for everybody then. Thank you. Uh, let's see. This is the one picky eater I was thinking of, and he's part of everybody. He's right here. Oh, and freeze-dried duck sounds like just a thing. That's a little crumbly, huh? Here you go, buddy. There you go. Where's your sister? I see her coming too. Maybe she can have some. Come here. We have a little duck. Oh, come here. Come on. Come on. This is good if you'll try it. Oh, she's winding up for a pounce. Oh, oh, the wiggle. The full wiggle and pounce. Oh, uh oh. I accidentally gave him another. Come here. Right here. Come here. Splotchy. Here, try one of those. Got it? Uh oh. Mural noticed. Oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, now we got everybody. All right, here, there you go, splotch. Take that piece right there, it's for you. Come on, you didn't get enough. Right there, try this one. Got it? All right, are we good? Muriel, you can also have one more. All right, oh my goodness, what did I start? As long as Maggie doesn't show up, we're okay. But once Maggie gets here, then the fur starts flying. So, I'm gonna put these away. We're all done. We're all done. Uh, obviously a very big hit, <laughs> Kawhi Little Panda. Oh. If you don't want it, I know someone who will take it for you. What do you think? Yes? No? Big chance. Custard is a, is a surprisingly picky eater. All right, here you go, Muriel. You can have it. You were you were asking. Okay, that's all right. Uh, all right, where were we? I'm not missing anything. Am I? Besides my brain, my mind. Nothing important, anyhow. It says spring. Ooh, it also says Michelle J. What is this item, though? All right, from Michelle J. It is a bag. It's a very handsome bag with cats all over it, like a duffel bag. Interesting. Um, it's super cute, and we can always use storage. Uh, although I don't know exactly what you intended it for, so let me know. Uh, it's a it's a cute little cat covered duffel. It's got cats and ideas all over. It says meow and catitude, and there's light bulbs and there's mice. Oh, and it's, uh, it's Simon's cat. Of course, I should have recognized that first. So thank you very much, Michelle J. Like I said, we will definitely uh, there's there's always use for stuff like that. But if you had some particular purpose in mind, you let me know, and we will put it to that task. As always, uh, this is another Kawaii Little Panda. 
name I'm surely mispronouncing. Ooh, oh, these are fun. We haven't seen these in a little while. It says, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thank you for everything you do. Hope you both had a Merry Christmas. These are to be distributed as you see fit from Kawhi Little Panda. Well, this is a good coincidence, too. I don't normally throw out all the toys the minute they show up. Uh, but these are cat dancer, cat toys, chasers, and they're just little bits of cardboard with little bits of like the cat wand uh, polar fleece stuck to them, which is a real basic toy, but those are the best toys, aren't they? And the thing is that Custard's favorite thing in the whole world is a little um, hair tie or ring like these. I think this is going to be something he will really enjoy. Uh, except right now, I think he's feeling a little bit of uh, being watched, so I guess we'll just let that go. Still, they're good. They're good toys. They're, like I said, just a little piece of cardboard and a little bit of uh, polar fleece in various patterns, and uh, they do get played a lot of play. So those are awesome. Thank you very much. I will put those with uh, what is presumably our bag, Kawhi Little Panda. Thank you very much. Once again, Custard is now looking at that thing. He's thinking about it. Okay, uh, Joy F, Joy F, thank you very much. Let's see what this is all about. Ooh, what is this all about? It comes, uh, oh, okay, somebody's getting right into that before we're even ready. Uh, Joy F has sent us the Yao Catnip Balls. As you can see, uh, nobody likes those. And they also, it seems like that's all that was sent to us from Joy. Joy F, thank you very much. Uh, let me know what purpose you wanted for. I'm sure it wasn't for Mural, probably for the new mom cats. Uh, but it looks like they also included a bonus to whoever you ordered from. They also threw in salmon, olive veg recipe, food for cats. Interesting. Uh, salmon, fish broth, and liver. That sounds like some good stuff. Number one ingredient, salmon, salmon, white fish, and then barley, rice, fish broth, herring, dried egg, peas, potatoes, salmon, oil, chicken fat, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, all the way down. Uh, all right, that's, that's a pretty good ingredient list. You know, the top stuff is meat, uh, real fish. Whoever these were for, uh, Mural's definitely testing them to make sure that they are approved. Interesting. All right, Joy F, thank you very, very much. All right, oh, let's open one of these Walmart boxes. You know what, we're just gonna let you wreck those. You have so many of your own catnip. She steals everybody's toys and wrecks them. And she's like, like I've mentioned this before, she likes to just gnaw on stuff. Like she puts a full force into the chew of it, like chews. Like a dog, like just gnaw, gnaw, gnaw. Uh, she steals all the little mice toys I'm sure you've seen and just flattens them with her jaws of death, which is kind of what she's doing with this thing right now. Uh, although, she, she obviously, she can't flatten these things quite as well. Uh, but she's trying. There's my knife. Let's see. So the Walmart stuff says it is from Dragon Lady 71. Dragon Lady who has finally joined us on Discord. Thank you so much for joining us there. It's so fun to be able to chat with you. Oh, my. And it looks like what we have here are snacks. It looks like snacks for me and snacks for the cats. One of my major, major weaknesses. And DJ won't touch these. She wouldn't touch them with a 10-foot pole. Uh, so I know I'm the one that's going to have to suffer through eating all of these uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, I'm, I can't. I, I'm not even... I might have to eat like a couple of these and then make DJ take the rest to her office because this is way too too many calories and too dense a package and I will eat them all. I got to tell you, when I was a kid, well, I'll get to that, but this is this is worth hearing in, in a way. It's short. The other thing you said, though, let me get to that, is churu, uh, the big can of churu. This is a huge hit. It's a wonderful treat. The cats go crazy for it, and they are going to love that as much as I'm going to love this. Uh, I had a, a job in an ice cream shop when I was a kid, uh, and not to go into too much detail, but the, the short version of the story is, uh, obviously in the ice cream shop, we would have this stuff brought in in these giant, like, you know, it must be 20 pound bags of, uh, these things and you would have to break them up and then people would use them as an ice cream topping. I'm sure you've seen that in ice cream stores and I would just, I just eat those things all day long, all day long. Oh man. Uh, 
uh, it was it was bad. I was, uh, yeah. I, I often say and this is true about that job uh, that uh, I had to bi- ride my bike there because I was in school, and uh, it was it was a long ride. It must have been you know I mean a long ride. It's like three four miles easy. Uh, I was rocking it every day, and I still managed to put on a ton of weight because <laughs> it's a nice paint shop. Oh my goodness. Uh, anyway, all right, here we go. Dragon Lady 71. Again, there we are. And this is, this is, uh, whatever it is, it is three identical, not quite identical. Okay, they have different numbers. Now we're going to have to see. <sighs> Let's find out. Oh, it's a blanket. It's a very pretty blanket. All right. Oh, it's Christmas. It's got Christmas puppies and uh, cats on it and your balls of yarn. That's so cute. It's, light. it's very light color. Yeah, I'll just show you the puppy there. Now, let's see. Uh, three blankets. Let's see if they're different. That's super cute. And uh, we're, we've got a collection now of, oh, this one is super cute, too. It's got uh, alphabet letters on it. Alphabet letters as opposed to those non-alphabet letters. Those are the ones you got to watch out for. Um, yeah, I was just saying that I've been starting to slowly collect things that are Christmas that we're going to save for next year. So that blanket will make a perfect one. These are so soft. I know that too. So thank you for sending these wonderful soft blankets and the Christmas blanket. Those will get plenty of use around here. Uh, let's see. I want to separate out the Christmas one from the others. So the Christmas one, I'm just going to toss over there along with this wonderful ornament. And these I'm going to put in here and go upstairs. Perfect. And this I'm just going to dump in here like it was treats. Good so far, so good. All right. Oh, upstairs. This is going to go upstairs. This is going to go upstairs. This is going to go upstairs. This is not going to go upstairs. I don't know why I'm sorting this right now. we got enough mailbag to get through. I can sort it after. Got to keep moving. Everybody, don't let me get distracted like that. I'm holding you responsible for holding me responsible. Okay. Check to make sure I miss any addresses there. Hi, kittens. Why is everybody here and hanging out with me and so attentive now? Is it because I have duck? I think it's because I have duck. Ooh. Denote. Denote. What does this denote? It says, hi, Dr. DJ and Mr. A, thank you for all y'all do for the mom, cats, and kittens. Discord is the best place on the interwebs. This box includes some chocolate from Germany from my trip to run the Berlin Marathon. Wow, and newspapers that I picked up over the past year and a half, plus a book on the French felines of New Orleans. Wow, this is a very well-traveled package. Um, Yao, bonjour, the French felines of New Orleans. That's super cute. And translations, I see. It's, there's a translation credit on the book. That's too funny. Um, oh, unless it's from French, in which case that's fine. Uh, coming soon should be an Amazon package of goodies for the kitties. You wanted to share a picture, see page two. Oh, oh so cute. Uh, share a picture of the feral cat that I looked after named Inky. Wow, she survived Category 4 Hurricane Ida. At my house, I see, wow. Uh, this was Inky for the, appearing for the first time after the hurricane looking for food. Well, she looks like she's in great shape. Uh, the folks on Discord were spectacular during the hurricane, constantly checking on me. Warmest regards, Stephen uh, Rouge on Discord. Rouge thank you, it's so nice to, to hear from you. What a great picture of Inky at your doorstep looking for some food. Uh, what a cutie pie. All right, so your German chocolates are Rausch, Rausch, I think, and uh, various different, I see, uh, qualities, uh, concentrations of cocoa. Those are going to be very fun. Thank you for that. And then you, like you said, some various local papers for me to look through, which I am super excited about. Oh, wow. They go all the way down. Some of these local papers are not so local. This one is uh, definitely from Germany. I see the dot D-E on there. Uh, it looks like someone who's been in a fight. 
So I'll show you this side. Uh, where ya? Where yet? I see. Where yet? The restaurant guide. Where yet? That's a good name. Where yet? We have the mullet wrapper. I think that means mullet uh, fish, not mullet wrapper. Like, I don't know, a guy from the early 90s uh, who thinks that he can do rap music. Uh, Italian American Digest, the Italian American Voice of the South. I like that. Another where yet? The Aspen Times, uh, the Vale Daily, and Gambit. Best of New Orleans Gambit. Wow, that is a, oh, and one more, Alternative Rock of the South. No, that's the ad. The Entertainer, all the fun that fits we print. <laughs> that's cute. Uh, that is completely awesome. Thank you so much, Rouge Uh for sending all those. Those are great papers, and that's a very, very well-traveled package that I'm going to enjoy. Uh, all those papers from all over. All right, um, next, let's see what I can reach from right here. Without moving, I think it's just this. It's the only thing, probably. After this, oh, we're going to need to move around a little bit. Okay. This is Dragon Lady 71. Oh, my. All right. We got some good stuff in here. We got some... Uh, Gerber chicken and gravy baby food. This is uh, one of the favorite treats that we like to use a lot of. And look at this. We have now a lot of it to give. So one, two, three, four cases. That's awesome. Thank you very much. And I see another of these double bed sets. Uh, was it you who sent these before? I feel like Ruth also sent us some. These must be a very hot item this year. So uh, we've got two different cat beds here with the corduroy on the outside and this wonderful sort of semi-sherpa. Uh, semi-sherpa? I don't know what you call it on the inside. These are going to be so nice for me down because they're just so warm. I want a big one that I can snuggle up in. My watch is trying to tell me something that I wasn't asking it. Sometimes it just volunteers. And most often it volunteers like, I don't understand what you wanted. I didn't want anything. All right? Understand that, watch. Uh, okay. Thank you so much, Dragon Lady, for these stuff uh, that we can totally use. I'm going to put these the beds aside, like I said, probably for endowments at this point. And these I'm just going to slide off to this way because they're going to go with the foods. Uh, again, uh, as always, unless uh, you had some other plans, you just kind of reach out and let me know. I know Walmart doesn't let you put in a note, but it is very smart of you to be putting your uh, name in the return address or in the shipping address in this case. I just... There we go, my knife. There we go. All the way back there. Dragon Lady. Another dragon. Oh, cats and kittens photography calendar. Very nice. Oh, look at these little orange boys, too. So cute. Wow. These are some brilliant photos. I just, I am a fan of cat photography, obviously. And uh, these are great to see. Beautiful photographs. Thank you so much, Dragon Lady. Uh, I don't know what to say about like who the art is or anything. It's not really well documented, but the photographs are super. Wow. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's all I can say about it though. There's just, there's not too much detail back on the back either, except cats and kittens. So there we go. Uh, that's awesome. Dragon lady. Thank you very much. It's beautiful. Just the thing from my new office. Yes, with all the moving around upstairs, uh, I've, I've got a much smaller office now, but I got permission to take over other parts of the house now for photography. I don't have to do it all in my office. So we got that going for us, which is nice. Uh, this says it is, oh, uh, Kitten Academy Cundiff. It says C-U-N-D-I-F-F. -F. So uh, C-U-N-D-I-F-F Cundiff, I assume, is the person who sent this, and that's how you've identified yourself. Uh, it is from the Frankenmuth Fudge Kitchen, frankenmuthfudge.com, Franken, just like it, frankenmuthfudge.com. All right, just like it says. Wow. Uh, and I want to just have a, open this up and just take a look at it. I'm not going to eat any right now. I'm not going to, ooh, oh, man, this is like big old thick slices from a fudge log and all the various flavors. We have chocolate nut. 
chocolate raspberry chocolate and a butter pecan oh man those sound great those sound really great thank you so much uh to Cundiff for the franken frankenmuth frankenmuth fudge uh I don't actually have a place to put that. All right, we'll put it over here, but then we can open this, which may be on the same theme, because it says lint all over the outside, and this one doesn't have any kind of a clue of the return address, so hopefully lint let whoever sent it put in a note. Uh, okay, good. Yeah, th th oh, oh, I gotta, I gotta cut more of these seals before this will open. All right. Yes, all seven seals, and then, ah, there we go. <clears throat> what was that? Oh, was that you? I, th I thought I heard something splash. And I'm like, did somebody just fall in the sink? Happy holidays to Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Thank you for all you do for mom, cats, and the kittens, and the KA family from new to Discord, Callie's mom. Callie's mom, thank you so much for thinking about this uh, lint. Ooh. Look at all these truffles. Oh my gosh, you went through way too much trouble for us. Uh, DJ gave me the uh, the obligatory snort that tells me that joke was definitely no good. I tried. Anyway, uh, yeah, Linder, uh, these uh, Linder Lint uh, truffles are so good. I know that from long experience. So uh, thank you for those. Two, that was a lot of, look at all this chocolate for me to go through. Oh my goodness. Whew. It's you know what somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to do it. All right, we have oh Kawhi little panda. Oh, you said a few things. You did say that in your note, didn't you? All right, what do we got? Oh DJ, I wanted you to see this. These were sent for the cats to destroy. I thought you might want to put them up in your new bedroom for the cats to destroy. Oh, but where's the other one? Maybe they already destroyed it. It's just a cute little pop up thing. No big deal. It's very cute, though. All right, that's fine. She's over there filling up her teapot. The toys can be done as you see fit from Kawaii Little Panda. These are so cute. They're all vacuumed in there. These these poor little toys. These poor cute little animals vacuum sealed together into this uh, this case. So you can see there, it looks like it's mostly fruit with faces, but there's some just some things that are off the theme too, I think. Uh, we've got uh, we've got a pineapple here that hasn't got a face, for instance. Uh, and then here we've got, I think, a cat that is just a cat, not any kind of fruit. We've got some carrots in here. Uh, we've got an alligator I see. looks very pleased with himself. And I know the minute that I puncture this, it's just gonna puff right up uh, like a magic marshmallow. So we're gonna leave it like this for now. Kawhi Little Panda, thank you. Uh, let's see, let's put that rover there. That's the right spot. And that will get distributed in due time. I didn't hear any beeping, do you? Oh. I'm not hearing it from here. Yeah, there's, if you're hearing beeping from the basement, that's a problem. You don't hear that? It just stopped again. <laughs> All right, hang on. I got to check on this now. DJ's made me paranoid. Dragon Lady also sent a turkey and gravy baby there. food. So, so we can switch it up a little. I got to go look right now. This is scary. So everything's going on in the house. This is super scary, folks. Please forgive me.
All right, well, I don't know what the sound was, but I know what it wasn't, so I'm satisfied enough for now. So I make sure uh, that our basement wasn't in the middle of flooding while I'm sitting here opening packages like there's nothing going on, but that's not the case. So, uh, Turkey Gravy Dragon Lady, thank you so much. I'll add this to the pile over here. Turkey Gravy is a good flavor. Uh, we usually stick to the chicken, um, but turkey also very nice. Okay, hang on, three more packages on this side. Oh, we got it. Maggie, you guys, here, we're just gonna have to distribute these, I think, even though there's always catnip going around. There's one, play with that one. What are you doing, buddy? It's okay, it's okay. Look, she's, she might smack you once, but she doesn't mean it. Uh, you don't have to smack him either, okay? All right, Dragon Lady 71, very familiar name. And inside we have Merry Christmas. It looks like a laser cut Merry Christmas. And let's see. Oh, whoa, whoa. That is a very fancy little pop-up Christmas tree right there. That's perfect. Thank you so much, Dragon Lady. That's super cute. Okay, put that right behind me there. And we are gonna keep rolling. Did you find the beeping? It kind of sounded like the beep from the battery chargers in the garage, so maybe they were just resetting for some reason. Did you plug anything in that might possibly be in that same circuit, which I don't know where it goes anyway? Yeah, I'm saying anything anywhere? No? Okay. Yeah, I know. But you didn't plug in anything new that would like cause a big draw or anything. Yeah, who knows then? All right, uh, so this is Dragon Lady 71. And, oh, the fudge. Oh, okay, cool. I don't wanna, I don't wanna out anybody about it. The person who sent the fudge took credit, but now if I explain it, uh, I'll be outing them. So let's try to avoid that, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I never know what to do. You guys can let me know. This is a rainbow marshmallow bed. It's all flattened out and packed, and these are great and we've recently discovered new cats that like them. Sometimes we go through a class that just doesn't get into the marshmallow beds, like these guys never really got into them. But then we get somebody like uh, Buttons who comes in and she just luxuriates in that marshmallow bed that's in her room right now. So uh, these are great. Uh, we like to keep them around for uh, endowments or to replace the ones that get worn out here. Usually in our washing machine, they can go through anywhere from one to a dozen washes before they start to look a little battered. Uh, usually on the high end, they, they stick together pretty well. So thank you very, very much, Dragon Lady. I love the rainbow style, by the way. There's a big rainbow one that's getting kicked around upstairs right now uh, that I like a lot. And uh, yours looks like a, a smaller kitten version of that, too, which is perfect. Okay, I see this package is from Michelle J., but it's also from Stark Raven Cat, and uh, that's great because... Yeah, um, these toys that you have sent are something that has been such a hit here at the Academy over and over and over, uh, but we haven't had any new ones in a long time. I haven't seen them around in a while. So, uh, like I said, the, they're, uh, Michelle J, thank you so much for sending us this stuff from Stark Raving Cat. And the thing that, that I'm talking about are these, that I guess they call them Rainbow Scatter Balls. Rainbow scatter balls, and they are just, they're sort of like hacky sacks or little embroidered, um, not quite balls uh, that are full of, I guess, catnip or something, but they're kitten sized. And the kittens, you, like you guys will remember kittens that have carried these things around them. It's been their favorite toy in the whole world. And then we sent it home with them, and that's the last we see of it. So I wasn't even entirely sure where these came from originally. The answer appears to be Stark Raven Cat, who we do know makes a lot of really cool cat toys, like one-of-a-kind things. Uh, so there we go, scatter balls. On top of that, we also have this <laughs> silly little Screaming Mimis. Screaming Mimis, uh, it is just a little wacky dinosaur. There we go. 
And uh, what is this? A note? Oh, this must be a note. Look at that. They let you leave a note. The note says, Happy New Year from Michelle J for the Preg or Preg Knots Buttons and Bumble. Ah, thank you. So then you also have, ah, um, the kittens tucked in these charms. That's cute for a Happy New Year. There's also, uh, I guess you guys can help yourselves, 10% off at Stark Raven Cat. If you use the coupon code SRC Winter for Stark Raven Cat Winter, of course. SRC Winter, 10% uh, off at Stark Raven Cat. Very cool. Only at StarkRavenCat.com, not valid on Etsy. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, this looks like a little charm of a ball of yarn and a little charm of a kitten playing with a ball of yarn. That is so cute. Those charms are adorable. And also some, what they say, five-star catnip. Thank you very, very much for this. I'm going to put these aside for buttons and bubble, but I hope they don't mind if maybe one gets deployed to them now and or goes missing uh, for everybody to play with. Let's see. Uh, I guess we need to start a box for buttons and bubble. Um, although I may have already lost track of what goes into it besides this stuff. And maybe, maybe this was part of it. I don't know. And we're going to say this because why not? Okay. Good enough for now. We'll make that work. Thank you very, very much, Michelle, Jay. Those uh, Stark Raven cat toys are so fun. We've had such great stuff from them over the years. And like I said, those little embroidered uh, balls that you got are uh, have been a smash hit for certain kittens in the past. Just couldn't give them up. So I'm excited to see some more around the Academy. Okay. Oh! Yes, we knew these were coming, and I know where they're from, but I'm still going to look for the note. These are bowls from Clint, and the note says, Mr. A, here are complimentary bowls for Bumble and Buttons since they visited Kitten Academy. Happy New Year from Clint in NH Clint. Thank you so much for always bowling us over with your generosity. Have I used that? I've probably used that, haven't I? It seems obvious. And also, DJ's got her judging face on, so. No, I don't Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, anyway, Clint, I'm going to put these right here in the Buttons and Bumble Box. Uh, where's the Buttons and Bumble Box? It's that one. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, like I've said a million times, because you sent these bowls for every single cat that's graduated from Kitten Academy. It's a wonderful thing for you to do. I can't believe you've kept up with it so well for so long. And I, I love the fact um, that you sent something that, that you know, sort of can be a permanent reminder of their Kitten Academy time. You know, that that, that bowl is going to last forever. And every time that their adopter fills it with water or food, they're going to be thinking, I remember Kitten Academy and that Clint guy who sends all those bowls. You know, it's just, it's always going to be there. Uh, at least that's the way things work for me. So, all right, uh, here we go. What's next? Yeah, ah, we got this big chewy box. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh. I was just taking a look at what's next, because what's next, the next box here, I don't have to open this one. We can all see what it is. I was trying to see if the return address is anything. So this last, not last box, because there's two over there. This, the next box will be the Feline Chateau. Uh, you're very familiar with this. We call it the Cat Condo. It's that multi-level cardboard cat condo that you've seen uh, at the Kitten Academy many, many times before. In fact, I just have the last one has been in what was my office and now it's getting moved through the various rooms on its way to some kind of temporary storage uh, to be redeployed for whomever might try it next. So uh, my, my point being, that's, that's everything that's in this box and it says in the return address, this is from Dragon Lady, Dragon Lady, and once again, Thank you so much for your amazing generosity. I know uh, that condo is something that some cat families love to no end. They just live their entire time at the academy in the condo. And there's others who are like, eh. Uh, I think we tried it for these kids, didn't we, at the very first, and then they weren't into it, and we took it away? Or was that the last class? Oh, for Christmas stuff, because they weren't too into it. Okay, well, anyway. Um, Okay, I, I guess I was wrong. Maybe they did like it. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, because we had the big class. Yeah, you're right. I do remember some of them hanging out in there and sleeping in the top. Man, it seems like so long ago, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, anyway, so uh, that is an awesome thing to have around. And you can let us know what you intend us to do with it. By default, what I'd probably do is put it in the basement and wait for you to either say, give it to this cat when they go, or uh, use it when the one with God's too worn out, which happens all the time. He has a very low tolerance for scuffed up cardboard stuff uh, at the academy. So, um, so yeah. Uh, so thank you so much for that. Uh, this also says Dragon Lady on it, so let's open this one. Ah. Oh, oh wow, there's some hidden stuff in here. We have some uh, catnip-coated bags. So they're like shopping bags that have been coated in catnip for the cats to play in. Maggie right here, Baggy, is a baggy, baggy boo. Little baggy boo. She's a big fan of hiding and playing in bags. So that's right her style. Uh, but you said a few of them, so my suspicion is these are probably for uh, endowing to people who, uh, to cats that would particularly like that. On top of that, we also have some additional cat towers, which I think uh, we've got a stack of now from the, the last Christmas, model, uh, the Christmas mail bags. And it does say one of these is the Christmas version and one of these is the regular version. So those uh, cat towers, that's the ball towers that you are all familiar with. Uh, here we've got, oh, this is that really cool, the, the door hanger that is such a hit every time. We've got one of these that's in our toy drawer that we bring out once in a while. Uh, so we know this is a big hit. It's a suction cup. We usually put it on the door or the window. Cats love it. You've seen ours. It's the, ours is the one that's got the mushroom on it, but it's the exact same. Um, and then uh, finally, a cute little uh, lounger, cat it lounger uh, scratcher. These things are also a big hit, especially if, uh, I'll tell you, if you've got one of these and you can put it somewhere in your house, put it right by uh, the door to a room, like your bedroom or something, either just inside or just outside, it'll get used all the time. Uh, cats like to mark those sort of entryway areas, and so uh, a scratcher or something next to it is a place where they can perch, they can watch people come and go, they can scratch it. Uh, these, these are ideal. And I'm assuming, again, uh, Dragon Lady, that all this was sent intended for endowments or general use. And you just, again, let me know if you had some real specific intent in mind. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to put these flip over in that pile that is going to head downstairs for uh, general endowment and other use. Okay. Oh, these should be included in that. Okay. Now I need to read that. Nope. Not now. After my leg. Now, I need to get up and get those last two packages, one of which Custer just having a big old nap on top of. Uh, hang on. I guess we'll get the one that he's not on first, and then we'll come back around for the one that he is on. Custer, you're going to have to move, buddy. Yeah, you can't just stay there. I'm sorry, because that's going to go. I think it's full of food. Custard's is. I mean, this one's too light for that, but Custard's probably. So, uh, Dra Custard is probably full of food, too. Uh, all right, Dragon Lady 71 again. Again, again, again. Yes. We're going to rename Mailbag to the Dragon Lady Show. Oh, hey, wow, this is some cool stuff. Uh, it looks like these are uh, giant cat toy gift bags for the cats. Uh, at least that's what I'm seeing. Cat Toy Bundle 20 Pack. Yeah, this is a fancy one. It's different than the ones I've seen before. It's got bigger kickers in it. Uh, this one's got kind of a nautical theme going because it's got a nautical uh, sort of colored tunnel. And it's got anchors and uh, rescue things on the kicker. And then all the regular sorts of balls and things that you would expect. And a big fish kicker. Uh, that's a nice toy set. And here we go with uh, the same stuff with a slightly different theme. Actually, not the same stuff. There's a slightly random assortment, I see. So we've got a big bag in it. This one has a wand. I don't think the first one had. A different kind of toe. Uh, oh, but here's another uh, identical to the first, and here's another identical to the second. We've got two basic uh, patterns going on there, and these are going to be perfect for deployment or endowment. Um, Dragon Lady. Thank you very, very much. And then we have one last, uh, these right in here, one last box 
that has a custard on it, but we'll move. Come on, buddy. Time to move. You gotta, you gotta move this box. And I know this box is very heavy even without you on it, so we're not gonna move it with you. Alright, let's just slide this. Oh, very heavy. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, we need that start to stay with me. Alright, good. Looks like that Christmas tree lasted 10 seconds with Maggie's intervention, right? Because that's what she does. Let's see, this has got to go right there. Actually, it's got to go right there. Perfect. Okay. And then finally, wrapping up the Christmas leftovers. Uh, Delicious Christmas leftovers mailbag. We have Dragon Lady with a Walmart box. Whoop, whoop, touch it. Right back on it. Come on, buddy. What is it about this box that you have to sit on? Oh, I see what it is. It must be comforting. Uh, what we have here are for our future kittens. Whoa, Pampers sensitive wipes. <gasps> That's awesome. And a lot of them. Wow, so many. I thought this was going to be food. But you've stocked us up with the wipes, just the kind that we like to use. Uh, one, two, three giant boxes of those. That'll keep us going for quite a while, assuming that we ever get kittens back in here. <laughs> uh, these are, I like these wipes quite a bit. Uh, we, you know, we tried out a bunch of different wipes uh, over time. And uh, uh, these are the ones that I keep going back to. They're great. Uh, I keep piles of them in the kitten room, and I also use them all over. Like if there's a place in the house that, that uh, I'm gonna need to, I keep one in my car, for instance, to get, get cat messes real quick, you know, without too much uh, uh, like cleaning product involved. Uh, but they're, they're perfect. The, the thing we use them for the most, of course, we've got a little uh, wipe uh, warmer that we keep in the kitten room, and when they're little kittens, we use it to wipe their little butts and clean them up, uh, help their moms out. And they just, we go through a ton of them, of course, because. You know, you got a class of six kittens and you got to wipe them a few times a day and you just, you just go through these things. So these are perfect. Uh, I will add them to our cabinet. That's it. That was mailbag. That wasn't too bad considering uh, I thought it was going to take a long time, um, but then we got it moving. So thank you so much to everybody for everything. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. I hope you had a wonderful New Year's Eve last night. I hope you're not feeling it too much today. Um, you know, whether you partied or not, you could be like me, you just move furniture all day and uh, somehow you're still feeling it. Um, as usual, this is the part in the show where I get up and put all this stuff away and then I come back and I say thank you again. We had the archive and that was mailbag. So uh, thank you all very much and I'm going to get started on that part of the process. Right, meow. I'm gonna leave that out because a lot of times I have to label things. So this though, this can go right now. Marquise, what are you doing? Black Phillips yet. Well, it looks like yogurt's already on the list. I knew about it. I just I don't think I've been finding five percent though. If I can't you know, be like old oh, better than ten, right? Yeah. Ten. Yeah. So I might go with that. Okay. All right. Here we go. Ooh, ah, ha, ha. Yummy, is it? How's your slumber?
So, I need a box of, oh, there we go, random endowments and or deployments. Add it to me. Yeah, that box for that. Nicely consolidated. Not random deployments or endowments. And stuff to go upstairs. With this. You got a free handle up there? Yeah, in my office or something. Textiles too. Washed and used, deployed. And it's the photography stuff. Okay. Oh, the candy for me. Oh. That's got to go. And this has got to go over here. That's beautiful. Lovely. This one's a goner. Pop it up for a little more fun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Settle down. Settle down. Let's, let's drag this stuff. Yeah, why? Why?
one. Cycling. Hands up. Oh, oh, well, there we go. Let's not put those things away in the wrong spot. Then you guys are yelling at me. Not that I actually want to throw away stuff. I got it. You got it. Let's see the difference right here. That's what I wanted to find earlier. Couldn't find it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Kiddos, how do we do? I think we got it all up, huh? Well, thank you all very, very much for joining me for Mailbag today. Uh, for those of you that could, and um, those of you that are watching later on the archives, thank you for, uh, for doing that. Of course, if you are watching on the archives, it's time to go check and see what's going on the regular Kitten Academy live stream. <laughs> 